in molecular biology and genetics, splicing is a modification of the nascent pre-messenger RNA transcript in which introns are removed and exons are joined. For nuclear encoded genes, splicing takes place within the nucleus after or concurrently with transcription. Splicing is needed for the typical eukaryotic messenger RNA before it can be used to produce a correct protein through translation. For many eukaryotic introns, splicing is done in a series of reactions which are catalyzed by the splisiosome, a complex of small nuclear ribonucleoproteins, but there are also self-splicing introns. Splicing pathways Several methods of RNA splicing occur in nature. The type of splicing depends on the structure of the spliced intron and the catalysts required for splicing to occur. Splicyosomal, introns, the word intron is derived from the term intragenic region, that is, a region inside a gene. The term intron refers to both the DNA sequence within a gene and the corresponding sequence in the unprocessed RNA transcript. As part of the RNA processing pathway, introns are removed by RNA splicing either shortly after or concurrent with transcription. Introns are found in the genes of most organisms and many viruses. They can be located in a wide range of genes, including those that generate proteins, ribosomal RNA, and transfer RNA. Splicyosomal introns often reside within the sequence of eukaryotic protein coding genes. Within the intron, a donor site, a branch site and an acceptor site are required for splicing. The splice donor site includes an almost invariant sequence GU at the 5 feet end of the intron, within a larger, less highly conserved region. The splice acceptor site at the 3 feet end of the intron terminates the intron with an almost invariant AG sequence. Upstream from the AG there is a region high in pyrimidins, or polypyrimidin tract. Upstream from the polypyrimidin tract is the branch point, which includes an adenine nucleotide. The consensus sequence for an intron is, MAG, cut GURAGU, intron sequence. CUR, A, Y, Y rich NCAG, cup G. However, it is noted that the specific sequence of intronic splicing elements in the number of nucleotides between the branch point and the nearest 3 euro unregistered trademark except a site effect splice site selection. Also, point mutations in the underlying DNA or errors during transcription can activate a cryptic splice site in part of the transcript that usually is not spliced. This results in a mature messenger RNA with a missing section of an exon. In this way, a point mutation, which usually only affects a single amino acid, can manifest as a deletion in the final protein. Formation and activity, splicing is catalyzed by the splisiosome which is a large RNA protein complex composed of five small nuclear ribonucleoproteins. The RNA components of SNRNPS interact with the intron and may be involved in catalysis. Two types of splisiosomes have been identified which contain different SNRNPS. Major, the major splisiosome splices introns containing GU at the 5 feet splice site and AG at the 3 feet splice site. It is composed of the U1, U2, U4, U5, and U6 SNRNPS and is active in the nucleus. In addition, a number of proteins including U2AF and SF1 are required for the assembly of the splisiosome. E complex U1 binds to the GU sequence at the 5 feet splice site, along with accessory proteins enzymes ASF SF2, U2AF, SF1 BBP. A complex U2 binds to the branch site and ATP is hydrolyzed. B1 complex U5 U6 trimmer binds, and the U5 binds exons at the 5 feet site, with U6 binding to U2. B2 complex U1 is released. U5 shifts from exon to intron and the U6 binds at the 5 feet splice site. C1 complex U4 is released, U6 slash U2 catalyzes transesterification, that make 5 feet end of introns ligate to the aeon intron and form a lariat, U5 binds exon at 3 feet splice site, and the 5 feet site is cleaved, resulting in the formation of the lariat. C2 complex U2 U6 remain bound to the lariat, and the 3 feet site is cleaved and exons are ligated using ATP hydrolyses. The spliced RNA is released in the lariat debranches. 
This type of splicing is termed canonical splicing or termed the lariat pathway, which accounts for more than 99% of splicing. By contrast, when the intronic flanking sequences do not follow the GUAG rule, non-canonical splicing is said to occur. Minor, the minor spliciosome is very similar to the major spliciosome, however it splices out rare introns with different splice site sequences. While the minor and major splissiosomes contain the same E5S SNRNP, the minor splissiosome is different, but functionally analogous SNRNPs for U1, U2, U4, and U6, which are respectively called U11, U12, U4 attack, and U6 attack. Unlike the major splissiosome, it is found outside the nucleus, but very close to the nuclear membrane. Transplacing Transplicing is a form of splicing that joins two exons that are not within the same RNA transcript. Self-splicing, self-splicing occurs for rare introns that form a ribozyme, performing the functions of the splissiosome by RNA alone. There are three kinds of self-splicing introns, group I, group II and group III. Group I and II introns perform splicing similar to the splissiosome without requiring any protein. This similarity suggests that group I and II introns may be evolutionarily related to the splissiosome. Self-splicing may also be very ancient, and may have existed in an RNA world present before protein. Two transesterifications characterize the mechanism in which group I introns are spliced, 3OH of a free guanine nucleoside or a nucleotide cofactor attacks phosphate at the 5 feet splice site. 3OH of the 5 exon becomes a nucleophile and the second transesterification results in the joining of the two exons. The mechanism in which group 2 introns are spliced is as follows, the 2OH of a specific adenosine in the intron attacks the 5 feet splice site, thereby forming the lariat, the 3OH of the 5 feet exon triggers the second transesterification at the 3 feet splice site thereby joining the exons together. tRNA splicing tRNA splicing is another rare form of splicing that usually occurs in tRNA. The splicing reaction involves a different biochemistry than the splissiosomal and self-splicing pathways. Ribonucleases cleave the RNA and ligases join the exons together. Evolution Splicing occurs in all the kingdoms or domains of life, however, the extent and types of splicing can be very different between the major divisions. Eukaryotes splice many protein-coding messenger RNAs and some non-coding RNAs. Prokaryotes, on the other hand, splice rarely and mostly non-coding RNAs. Another important difference between these two groups of organisms is that prokaryotes completely lack the splissiosomal pathway. Because splissiosomal introns are not conserved in all species, there is debate concerning when splissiosomal splicing evolved. Two models have been proposed, the intron late and intron early models. Biochemical mechanism. Splissiosomal splicing and self splicing involves a two step biochemical process. Both steps involve transesterification reactions that occur between RNA nucleotides. tRNA splicing, however, is an exception and does not occur by transesterification. Splissiosomal and self splicing transesterification reactions occur via two sequential transesterification reactions. First, the 3OH of a specific rank point nucleotide within the intron that is defined during splissiosome assembly performs a nucleophilic attack on the first nucleotide of the intron at the 5 feet splice site, forming the lariat intermediate. Second, the 3OH of the released 5 feet exon then performs a nucleophilic attack at the last nucleotide of the intron at the 3 feet splice site thus joining the exons and releasing the intron lariat. Alternative splicing. In many cases, the splicing process can create a range of unique proteins by varying the exon composition of the same mRNA. This phenomenon is then called alternative splicing. Alternative splicing can occur in many ways. Exons can be extended or skipped, or introns can be retained. It is estimated that 95% of transcripts from multi-exon genes undergo alternative splicing, some instances of which occur in a tissue-specific manner and or under specific cellular conditions. Development of high-throughput mRNA sequencing technology can help quantify the expression levels of alternatively spliced isoforms. 
differential expression levels across tissues and cell lineages allowed computational approaches to be developed to predict the functions of these isoforms. Given this complexity, alternative splicing of pre-mRNA transcripts is regulated by a system of transacting proteins that bind to cyacting sites or elements on the pre-mRNA transcript itself. These proteins and their respective binding elements promote or reduce the usage of a particular splice site. However, adding to the complexity of alternative splicing, it is noted that the effects of regulatory factors are many times position dependent. For example, a splicing factor that serves as a splicing activator when bound to an intronic enhancer element may serve as a repressor when bound to its splicing element in the context of an exon, and vice versa. In addition to the position-dependent effects of enhancer and silencer elements, the location of the brank point also affects splicing. The secondary structure of the pre-mRNA transcript also plays a role in regulating splicing, such as by bringing together splicing elements or by masking a sequence that would otherwise serve as a binding element for a splicing factor. Experimental manipulation of splicing Splicing events can be experimentally altered by binding steric blocking antisense oligos such as morpholinos or peptide nucleic acids to SNRNP binding sites, to the Brank point nucleotide that closes the lariat, or to splice regulatory element binding sites. Splicing errors, based on data current as of 2011, one third of all hereditary diseases are thought to have a splicing component. Common errors include Mutation of a splice site resulting in loss of function of that site. Results in exposure of a premature stop codon, loss of an exon, or inclusion of an intron. Mutation of a splice site reducing specificity. May result in variation in the splice location, causing insertion or deletion of amino acids, or most likely, a disruption of the reading frame. Displacement of a splice site leading to inclusion or exclusion of more RNA than expected, resulting in longer or shorter exons. Although many splicing errors are safeguarded by a cellular quality control mechanism termed nonsense-mediated mRNA decay, a number of splicing-related diseases also exist, as suggested above. Protein splicing. In addition to RNA, proteins can undergo splicing. Although the biomolecular mechanisms are different, the principle is the same, parts of the protein, called interneurons instead of introns, are removed. The remaining parts, called exteneurons instead of exons, are fused together. Protein splicing has been observed in a wide range of organisms, including bacteria, archaea, plants, yeast and humans. See also, cDNA, exon, intron, primary transcript, spliciosome, minor spliciosome. Exon junction complex, swap protein domain, a splicing regulator, references. External links, virtual cell animation collection, mRNA splicing, RNA splicing at the U.S. National Library of Medicine Medical Subject Headings.